Uh, Dragon Fury on turn four could be really good. I feel like moving forward, I mean, Frostless Jane is just going to be so silly strong. This is actually really good. Two, three, coin on four. We should be able to control the control our paladin friend here. Uh, so that's going to be very good. Ooh, and then we can beat our paladin friend with a pyroblast. Which is also a good thing. Hey, Murloc Tide Caller. I think we get rid of that one, right? So the reason I like this, like I know maybe it's a little aggressive. But honestly, I feel like if we're not doing that, we're going to end up falling behind Murloc Paladin. Because they're going to just run all over us. This way they're forced to hero power one face damage. Then we set up a Tar Creeper uh, right into their uh, call to arms. In which case we can just Dragon Fury if we want to. Or we can do lots of other fun stuff. Who knows? It's our game of Arsenal. We can do whatever we want. Uh, that's pretty good. And now we're not getting charged down. <laughs> Federico, are you the only one who noticed? I stopped pressing things to activate the volcano as the opponent conceded. I mean, I mean, let, let's admit it. We kind of got the skills here when it comes to that sort of thing. We're going to take that ping and then we'll just wait to make trades afterwards. We also have two back-to-back -back board clears, which is going to be really, really good. <laughs> you can't be the only one who saw it. Remco, what was my favorite deck ever? My favorite deck ever was the Blackrock Mountain. Wow, that's a really big paladin. Or big, big, that is a big paladin. It's a really big war leader. Um, oh, that's just more annoying than anything. I'll take the 10 damage, I don't care. Uh, my favorite deck was definitely Black Rock Mountain Dragon Priest. It was... Okay, can you just flood the board already? Okay, perfect. Now we can't clear the board. Oh no, yeah, now we can. Because uh, this gives us... Uh, do we need armor now or do we need armor later? I think we need armor later. Uh, so that's a guaranteed board clear. So that's really fun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously we could have taken the extra armor. But I feel like we're going to be able to do this and set it up on a turn where we can potentially go two turns. Aremco, yours was green rogue. You only took cards which are green. <laughs> oh, bitter tide hydra. Oh my. I think this is the turn that we go for our Meteor now. Reality. That's a really, really aggressive Murloc Paladin, I think, who just really didn't draw excellently. So if our opponent isn't able to deal with our Arcane Artificer, which I doubt that they will be, at least they'll, they won't be able to deal with it efficiently. And... Then we'll just get a whole ton of value. We'll be able to Fire Lance big things down... Maybe we just coin out our Frostlitz, Jaina, and win. Like, if they call double call to arms? Yeah, this, like, we're not even worried right now. Oh, we're just going to coin out Frostlitz, Jaina. Whoa, that is double divine. What? Why did they do it twice? Oh, just a cycle, I guess? All right, let's pop that Noble Sack. I feel like this should basically be a win at this point. I mean, our opponent can obviously apply more pressure. Hey, that's healing. And again, that's not easy to trade in unless our opponent has the Rock Pool Hunter in their hand. Hey, that's another little Murloc friend. And more Murlocs. More Murlocs, the better. Ooh, Sunkeeper. There's a good trade for our opponent. That can't be correct, can it? Does anyone agree with me that that's probably not correct? Oh, maybe it is actually. Maybe this is going to come back now. And once again, every single turn, all we're trying to do... Every single, every single turn is uh, create a water elemental and every single turn is we get one step closer to healing up to full and we're still generating tons of armor. And 
getting closer and closer to winning. So that's good. Freeze Maze and Freeze Mage and Mech Mage Dango, you're saying were pretty fun, but the most fun was playing Molten Giant Echo Mage. Ooh, I love that one too. We had things like Mad Scientist and some value secrets. Absolutely. I really enjoyed that too, Dango. I really, really that was a really fun control style mage, right? You're just controlling, controlling until you do all that like duplicating. Uh, you can do stuff to discount everything with Emperor Thoris in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fun, that was a fun, fun deck. I, I like that one too. But yeah, Black Rock Mountain Priest to me was the uh, quintessential curving out the reason why may, why Priest, I should say, doesn't get a lot of strong mid-game minions very often because it just uh, gets a little bit unfair. <laughs> Devere, tell him thank you. He'll quit in five seconds. Uh, all right, let's start the five-second timer. Let's see if they quit right as the... I think our opponent just AFK'd. They tossed their phone. Which is too bad. I mean, we had a fun start there. And we just wait now. We've healed. We're going to draw a bunch. Hey, young troop. Uh, you're asking, is it worth to buy classic packs right now? Only been playing a month. I mean, if you really enjoy the game, sure. And I mean, right now, classic packs are always the safest packs to be, play to bu to be buying because... Hey, there we go. That's another win. I mean, these two games weren't anything crazy, but they were just good, solid wins with this deck, grinding out aggro, which is what we want to do, right? Okay, this definitely looks like a better matchup for us, and we'll go ahead, and we're going to keep Acolyte now. So, yeah, Remco, we're still streaming. We're still going here. We got some time left in this stream. There's no doubt about it. We've had some fun games today, but nothing really groundbreaking, I don't think. Uh, next turn, we're probably coining out the old Tar Creeper. Maybe Acolyte if turn two is horrible. Yeah, turn two wasn't that great. Um, we have to Tar Creeper, because if this gets buffed up, I don't want to deal with... Uh, yeah, we've been on for two hours now, Remco, and we're going to go for another or maybe one-ish. Yeah, my plan is to go for another one hour or so. Those are really nice trades, actually, for our opponent to give us. That's all really nice top deck, actually, as well. Uh, we've been able to stop a lot of early aggression here from our opponents, so I think we're good. Uh, Dango, 10 mana, silence, destroy all minions, mage spell required. Ugh, that's a real, that's a really, really strong sounding. It's a really, really strong sounding, uh, spell, to be honest. Uh, hey, gluttonous ooze, I'll take it. I'll gladly take that. <laughs> Gain a little bit of that armor there. Um... Uh, Federico, you really want to get into anime. Um, the first one really crushed your soul. Yeah, that's, uh, from what I've heard, that's what happens in the genre. Um, Dragon's Fury. Um, that's not the best. That removes a lot of damage from board and also lets us set up a blizzard. Like, that was a pretty... I mean, that was an okay call to arms, but... I feel like we're pretty confident right now with the board state, so... I feel like, yeah, that's fine. This is fine. All of this is basically fine. We're going to Blizzard and play a 4-4. Then we'll... Oh, wow. That's a, that's a lot of secrets going on. Is this Secret Mage from back in the day? Remember how fun the meta was then? <laughs> Expecting Kodo, yeah, definitely expect a Kodo, and uh, return to life. Hey, return to life. What's getting returned? Ooh, a two-one. I am sorry. I am certainly sorry, Paladin friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, that clears the board at least. Divine Favor, but also, like, we have multiple Flame Strikes incoming, so we don't really care. 
What would be better than multiple flame strikes? Uh, I guess top decking arcane artificer would be better at this point, right? Like we just want that artificer out to start collecting some armor, or we want us to find a frost lich Jaina. Hey, another call to arms. What do you know? More board flooding. <laughs> um, I guess we can ping stuff down. Do we even need to attack into that? Mm. Why not? Four is equal to three against Paladin. Um, well, four is not equal to three. Never mind. Rallying Blade is a card. Come on. I still think it's reasonable, though. Blessing of Kings? That's a massive minion. We don't like that. Uh, Firelands Ping is excellent right now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Ooh, Mana Worm is kind of fun. Red Mana Worm, that is. The issue with Red Mana Worm, however, is it's not going to necessarily actually grow that much on us. Wow. This is a very buffed, very, very buffed Murloc War Leader. Okay, well, that makes things a little bit more difficult, but that eats a beautiful, beautiful polymorph. And then we get to start going face. Unless we top deck something cooler. Hey, that's a perfect top deck. And we just go face, we gain our armor, we clear our opponent's board. And lethal for next turn. Oh, do we have lethal this turn? No. We were one off. Fair enough. I mean, so far today we've done very well against our aggressive friends. And our decks have been a little bit weaker against a more controlling style of 